Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about handling null in dynamic lookup transformation. So, this is a master table records. And uh, this is a source contain. So, in source, so there are null uh, records in different columns. Address city state j. So, I do a previous customer name Marion James and new newly inserted name Marion Atkins. Here, they also change previous name Laura Jones and newly inserted Laura Gomez. And this is a newly inserted records. So, I do address city state and zip. So then or uh, null values. So how to handle this situation? So I don't want to uh, load this null values into the target. So in target, this is the records I want. So I do newly inserted names, Marion Atkins or Laura Gomez, and this is a new inserted. So I do. So this or two name changed and here in master or customer table. So this or no, no any changes at the in source. So it come and in place of null, this all values null. I don't want to this null values. So in place of this null values, I want to this records. So look in our target, this records, it's come. So how to handle this situation by using dynamic lookup transformation? Let's see. So right here, ABC is my source table. So let's see the records inside of source table. So this is the records. And uh, let's say target table records. So initially there, there are no any records into the in the target table. So let's go to our session and run the session. So session is running. So at here, five rows applied for, applied and that affected. So let's see session log property. So at here, inserted rows, request five, applied five. So let's see the records in target table. So this is the records loading into the target table. Now next is I'm going to in source. So I have first write the ID one eight seven, and I'm going to change the name of Kevin. Kevin. CA. And here I'm going to change CS at the rate gmail.com and this records I'm giving null. So enter salary city pin code null. And here after let's so enter one new records at your 199 AMP ID name Harry H R at the rate gmail.com.
Yeah. So one records newly inserted and here I uh, means Kevin change the name. So new name Kevin or uh, CA and new email ID CS at the rate or gmail.com and uh, she forget to mention or she for sorry he forget to so Kevin change the name or uh, Kevin CA and change the email id cs at the rate gmail.com and he forget to enter salary ct and pin code values so this in this place i want to this record so let's first commit so committed records in source so let's see source records So let's uh, run the session. So I enter ABC underscore TCT. So to uh, records applied affected and incoming total record 7 so let's go to session log refresh it here I inserted one records and one records is applied for update so let's see the target table records So this is a uh, Kevin CA name change. So newly inserted names, newly inserted email ID, and in place of this all null values, it's come previous values. So previous values, this all are previous values. So this is the mapping I'm using. So total transformation I've taken of four, one source query file, lookup, filter, update, a strategy transformation. So one one, one by one, I'm going to discuss this all. So I did first transformation is source query file transformation. So I did not change anything. Now next transformation, lookup transformation. So I do lookup transformation or source is abc underscore dct. So this is the source of lookup transformation abc underscore dct. And here next property I used to dynamic lookup cache. So I enable this property. And here after I never check box of insert as update. So if you select this one, so insert the record if not found in the cache as updated. And about dynamic lookup cache, so update lookup cache with unfound or new lookup values. So I have enabled this property and dynamic lookup cache. And the source is target. So I do let's go to port. So I do so new lookup row. So this has three values first is 0, 1, 2. So if the value is 0, that means not update not insert if the value 1 there that means the value for go for insert and if the value 2 so that go for update so here emp id so this is the condition 
So EMP ID, so it comes from source. Uh, the EMP underscore ID source is targetable and EMP underscore ID on. So it's come from source coil fan. So here I've given the condition EMP underscore ID. So this is a lookup table column. This is a transform my some part. So that is associated set, associated port here. Yeah. Name, this is a lookup and name one that's for or source qualifier coming from source qualifier. So this all. So here important property is ignore null input for updates. So if the value come null from the source so that ignore if you enable checkbox so right here i enable the checkbox of salary ct pin code so i enable so whenever the value come null from the source so that ignore And here after one more column. So here the value comes sequence ID. So data type is integer. If you select any number, etc. Or decimal value. So this property is all not come. So you have to select integer right here. So sequence ID. So sequence ID value 1, 2, 3, 4, till end. So this is the property. I set in uh, lookup transformation. Here after filter transformation I use. So right here I, I have given the condition. So if new lookup row equal to 0. So the value is false. Or if new lookup row 1 and 2, so that means true. So if the value new lookup row come uh, 1 and 2, so that go for next transformation. That means true. And hereafter I used update a strategy transformation. So right here I used decode function. So new lookup row. If the value is 1, so that means that go for DD insert. If the value is 2, so that go for DD update. So one value insert and two value update. And this is the targets. I did not change anything. So this is the mapping. Next is on session property. So let's click. So right here mapping in source. So this is the connection hr underscore com. So I did not change anything in the source. And here value hr underscore com. So I change target load tab bulk to normal. And here I disable delete property. And here lookup transformation. So this is the value I set hr underscore com. And I did not change anything. So let's uh, insert one record. One time more. I'm going to enter one, eight, two. So right here, I'm, the name is Harry, and I'm going to give new name right here, H A R I Harry Plains. So I'm going to leave So right here, I'm going to leave salary and city null value. And here, I'm going to give 
input. So what happened at you? This is new. So this new name come here. So in place of this two null values, this values come or triple or three two times four times two or two times four and six and here ct come c and this new value. So let's add here. I start the session. So add here in source eight rows coming and three is up, applied and affected. Database add here execute the targetable query. So add your new name Harry Pins it come. So this is so nearly inserted email ID. So add here I changed on I did not give a salary and CT values. So add here this I have given the pin code so add your Harry it's com h and h and at the gmail.com so these two values come in place of now So this is the scenario of dynamic lookup transformation. So this is one property of dynamic lookup transformation. Ignore null input for updates. So I hope guys you understand this scenario. So thanks for watching. See you next video.